Well, hello and welcome to this week's newsletter. And yes, it's the most exciting week of the year, isn't it? Open Championship Week. And I can't wait for it to start on Thursday up at Royal Liverpool Hoylake. It's going to be a fabulous open. And the weather looks okay, actually. It doesn't look too bad. Not too windy, sort of 15 mile an hour breezes. That's not too windy for an Open Championship, is it? So it'll be interesting to see who does well in that. Who do I go for? Well, I think really after last week's Scottish Open, did you see it? It was awesome, wasn't it? Rory McIlroy, he was fantastic. I mean, he played really well all week. Uh, missed a few putts as he does, but it was just superb tee to green. Um, and then what a finish. Uh, Bob McIntyre, young Scottish lad, trying to win his own Open up there at Renaissance Club. He made a fantastic three on the last to finish 13 under par. Rory was on the 16th at the time, a par five, and didn't make the birdie on the par five. Hole 17 was playing the second hardest hole on the course. Hole 18 was playing the first hardest hole on the course. So Rory needs to finish birdie, birdie to win the tournament. At which time I switched off. I had things to do with my family. I thought Rory's not gonna do that, not in the two hardest holes in the golf, golf course. Anyway, I look at my phone an hour later and he's only gone and done it. Watch the highlights and wow, what a fantastic shot into the 17th. A par three, hold the putt from about five foot, back to 14 under, or back to 13 under. And then on the 18th, awesome 18th, hit a good drive, then a fantastic low, flighty, cutty two iron to about 12 feet and went and rolled the putt in for another birdie. So Rory McElroy finished birdie, birdie into the wind to win the Scottish Open. And I say into the wind because generally Rory, he's not very good in windy conditions. He hits the ball so high and so long, he finds it really difficult to keep it down in the wind because he hits it so hard. Basically, he produces so much batsman and he finds it really difficult to keep that spin off the ball, which you need to in windy conditions. But the fact he went and won it in those tough, tough, tough days, tough scoring conditions on that Sunday, me thinks it has to be his time in the Open. I only hope he hasn't used up all his good luck, all those putts falling in on the back nine last Sunday. I hope he hasn't used them all up for the Open Championship this week, but he would be my tip to win. Guarantee he probably missed the cut now because we know what my tips do, but surely one of my tips eventually has to do well. Yeah, so Rory McIlroy has to be red hot favourite. Fantastic winner of the Scottish Open. He won at Hoy Lake in 2014 as well. Uh, so everything is you know, going for Rory, we would say. But. Who else is coming out there? Well, Ricky Fowler, obviously in great form. He um, won a couple of weeks ago on the PGA Tour. Uh, he finished second to Rory in 2014, so he's got a bit of local knowledge around there as well. So Ricky's always a good bet for the Open Championship. Very good at hitting the ball low and creative shots. Who else? Well, then it's got to be John Raz, Scottish Chef, the, the usual suspects, hasn't it, really? I really do think Brooks Kepka. I really do think the cream will rise to the top. Cameron Smith, he won the Live Tour event over in St Albans a couple of weeks ago, so he's in good form again, defending champion. So I expect him to see up, see him up there with his amazing putting stroke. He can't be up, he can't not be up there, can he really? So yeah, all those top players you expect to see up there. I really do think the cream will rise to the top. The golf course, well, the golf course looks interesting. They've put a new hole in, which is catching all the attention. The 17th hole, which is a par three, only 135 yards long, but it's a real kind of tiny green. I think they'll call it Little Eye, with lots of runoff areas falling down. So it's really difficult uh, to hit, well, number one, to hit the green, although 135 yards, depends on the wind. But once you miss the green, it all runs away. And they're saying that mm, it's kind of a little bit on the borderline to say whether it's fair. All I would say is, as I always say, golf is not supposed to be fair. The best golfer will win, simple as that. Um, so yeah, that's interesting. And the 18th is a par five, and they've moved the out of bounds posts in a little bit. They've moved the out of bounds posts in about 15 yards from where they were uh, in 2014. So that's gonna make it a bit tighter off the tee. So there's every chance that we could see birdie birdie finish, or we could see a double bogey, double bogey finish. So yeah, it's gonna be really exciting one way or the other. So yeah, Hoy Lake, Royal Liverpool, the Open Championship starts on Thursday. The draw is done, I've done the sweepstake draw. There will be photos of the draw attached to this newsletter. So take a look to see who you have drawn in our sweepstake. Okay, now moving on to shop news and we've just taken delivery of this. Look, the Ping G Lee 3 driver, the new Ping ladies driver. And first impressions, oh my goodness me, that is so lightweight, that is absolutely crazy. I mean, lightweight, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, um, it's not obviously suited to me, but for those that struggle with club head speed, light golf clubs really will up that club head speed. And that is so, so light, it's unreal. 
I could really get that move, and I think I might even be worried I might break the shaft. But so for those female golfers, junior golfers, or even senior golfers, do I dare I say, why not come and try the Ping G Lee three driver? It is so lightweight. Let's see if that ups your club head speed and therefore ups your distance. I'm going to give that a review next week. I'll probably do the review next week. I haven't got time this week, but I'll do the review next week of the Ping G Lee three irons hybrids, fairway woods and driver, we've got a demo of each. So they've made it kind of a bluish colour, so it does appeal to the juniors and the senior golfer as well. So it's wrong to call it a ladies club, really. It's just a super lightweight driver that's gonna be able to give you more club head speed, really. So they've done it in blue to suit not only the ladies, but the men as well. So yeah, come and give that a go. You just have a feel of it, it's so light. I've never felt anything like it, it's barely there. It's ridiculous. Right, Ping Ji Lee Drive. On to Pro Captain Challenge news now, and it was another disappointing day for me and Captain Stu. We lost to Tony Wren and Paul G. Tony Wren and Paul G were played really well, really steady. Stu was quite steady, but I was very poor again. I just don't know what it was. I putted better this week, changed putters to a, a, an Odyssey Versa putter, putted better, but my long game let me down. Rubbish off the tee. So there's no pattern to my game at the moment, which is making it really frustrating. One week I strike the golf ball really well, don't putt well. Next week I putt well and don't strike the golf ball well. Next week I'll putt well, strike the golf ball well and chip poorly. So it's just not coming together and I'm finding it really frustrating. But I know I've just got to keep up the practice, keep grinding through. It will all come together. I'm not expecting an amazing round of golf, but I just want to improve those little bits and pieces through the game just to become a little bit more well consistent we're always inconsistent but inconsistent at a slightly better level than i am now because yeah i'm struggling a little bit now and it's very frustrating but yeah well done tony well done paul you won by three points well played uh, and yeah that means you'll get a three point lead going into the finals day on the 20th of october or that saturday near that date i can't quite remember which saturday what the date is but yeah, well done, Tony Wren, and well done, Paul G. You won by three points. Um, this week, I'm playing against Stevie Smith and Tom Houchin, so that's going to be fun. Stevie, who's done a couple of days in the shop for me last week. You probably all uh, saw Steve in here last week helping me out. Jack was ill, unfortunately, and Ollie was away playing golf. And Ollie, unfortunately, didn't play so well. He's had a few good results recently, but his week wasn't last week. He struggled a little bit, as is golf. But yes, yeah, so I'm playing against Steve and Tom Hampton on Thursday. In Galston Golf Club competition news, we'll go back to last Wednesday's Lady Golf Foundation and Commemorative Plates, Divisional Stapleford, where in Division 1, Amanda Hood won with 36 points. Well done, Amanda. In Division 2, Sheena Emrick won with 32 points, beating Jane Standen on countback. In Division 3, Andre Bloomfield won with 32 points. So well done, Amanda Hood. You must have won the uh, Ladies Gold Foundation and Commemorative Plate. Well played. Uh, on Thursday, the men had their summer midweek staple food, uh, where Jamie Chisholm, hey, well done Jamie, nice return to form for Jamie. He won Division One with 40 points, beating Jim Robinson on count back. Jamie works offshore, comes back, struggles with his game, has his lesson generally before he, when, just as he gets back, just to make sure he's swinging it well. We struggled the last couple of months or so, we couldn't figure out why. Um, but then eventually we got him in here hitting golf balls as we normally do with a lesson but then we played a few holes on the simulator I wanted to see how he performed under pressure and straight away the difference between him just hitting golf balls on the driving range in here and him on the golf course in here was different he just wasn't getting through the ball so well he wasn't as confident through the golf ball as he was when he was hitting the golf ball in practice so there we go straight away we hit nail on the head there Jamie great stuff and you've won with 40 points. Well played, Jamie. Uh, in Division 2, Jordan Page won with 41 points. Well done, Jordan. Jordan's a young lad. Oakley's taken up golf. Looks like that's given Jordan a kick up the bum to kind of get his game in shape before Oakley gets better than him. You know it's going to happen, Jordan. Uh, Jack Moyes came second with 38, 39 points. In Division 3, Lewis Moyes won with 46 points. Well done, Lewis. Awesome score, that. 46 points, beating Brian McKinnon into second on 42, and Roger Helston on 41, and Malcolm Lake on 40. Wow, some good scoring there in Division 3. Well done, Lewis. Right, OK, then on to Saturday, we had the Ping Mix 4-Ball Better Ball competition where Laura Thorpe, Westhorpe and Matt Brown with won with a fine 40 points. Well done, Laura, and well done, Matt, beating Jules Harbour and Louis Bayfield in the second on 39. And then on Sunday, we had the men, or the Mixed Monthly Medal and Race to July, 
race to Oldborough uh, men's qualifier. So in Division 1, Matt out one with a net 70. Well done, Matt. In Division 2, Kieran Gallant won with a net 69. Well done, Kieran. Nice return to form for you as well. Max Elliott came second with a net 72. One of the juniors, well played. And on Division 3, Kev Shaw won with a fine net 68. Well done, Kev, beating Shaw Maloney into second on 72. It was a really tough weekend, wasn't it? Really, really windy weekend. So well done to you. Gentlemen that won your divisions. Okay, and that's everything for this week. Thanks very much for watching. Look forward to seeing the Open Championship from Thursday to Sunday. I'm off Sunday, so I'll be glued to the TV Sunday afternoon. I can't wait. You can't beat the Open Championship week. It's fantastic. Right, that's everything. Thanks very much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.